record on this computer. Okay, yep, now this should be recording now. So hello everyone, this is my lecture on how to study for Quizful. Uh, share my screen. Uh, share. Okay, this is, okay. My entire screen should be shared now. Okay, so basically, so first of all, some people, some people think that like, Quizful is like trivia only and like, it's just like, you know, random facts. But like, that's definitely not true because you can clearly study for QB and get much better. Uh, quick example is how do, how do I move the sidebar because I can't add tabs. Uh, I feel like a boomer right now. I actually I actually just can't like add add new tabs. What the hell? I can't click on my Google Chrome. Okay, whatever. Now it looks weird. Okay. For example, I'm gonna use myself as an example. Uh, at the end of my sophomore year, I went one power in 11 games, one power in seven eggs in 11 games. At the end of my junior year, we went 40 powers and 17 eggs in 10 games. So you see, you can definitely improve through like QB. And then anyways, so there's many different ways you can start by studying QB. Uh, starting from like, if like you're like very, very unfamiliar with the subject, let's say like when I first started literature, I knew, I knew basically nothing about lit. Uh, if it was a regs bonus, I'll be getting like 10 to BB or whatever. I think, I honestly think the best way to start is just portable. Like people make fun of portable all the time, but like portable is like really a really good place to like, just get used to like what kind of stuff they'll be asking. So like, whatever, I'm just doing like, like whatever, like HS, HS religion or whatever. And then like, you can just randomly go through this. And then like, the questions aren't always the best questions that you want. And like, this isn't like the most effective way of studying, but this is the best way to, to start off. So you it, like, especially uh, like if you don't really listen to that category of questions. So you know, like exactly like what kind of answer lines might come up. Like let's say like before, like before I started studying religion, uh, I didn't know what Baha'i was, even though Baha'i comes up a lot in like uh, HS rest tournaments, I wanna listen to those religion questions. So I'm not, familiar with that answer line. But after you portable a lot, you'll know what kind of answer lines will come up. And then you wanna make like a list of those answer lines. So going off that, uh, with answer lines, uh, like I would make answer lines for myself uh, where, uh, where um, here, Let's say like okay, like 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 for literature. Okay, so I made a list. So uh, after potabowling, potabowling, and just scrolling through random packets, I made a list of every single author that I wanted to study. So uh, here is American authors. Of course, I wanted to go a bit deeper. Like when you first start off, you you really don't need more than like maybe like, like I, I kind of went over the board with like 151 American authors, and like added together, added together, I had like maybe like 600 authors. I made a list of but you probably don't need to go that overboard. Honestly, you only, you only need to like study like maybe maybe uh, 200 authors, 100 to 200 authors to like get the entire HS Rex canon. But I wanted, but since I was in my senior year and I didn't really have much time to go to like, uh, to like uh, study, I wanted to make sure that uh, I could study for college. So, and because there's more authors in college, I decided to study the college canon along with the HS canon. But basically, yeah, so what I did was I went through and I just made a huge list of all the authors that I wanted to learn. And then the second step was, uh, depending on how you like it, you can either go with note-taking or creating flashcards, which is a common thing people do. Uh, I actually went the route of using both. So uh, let's say, let's say like, uh, let's you take my literature notes, for example. Uh, this is, this is probably one of the older versions of my doc. I haven't studied in a while, but there's probably like, uh, there, there's like maybe like 300 plus pages on this doc. Oh, whoops, I don't want you to see my college app essays. Sorry about that part. Where I made like a large doc of all the authors I want to study. This this is incomplete because only my, I didn't really combine my notes together. So only my world literature notes are on here. 
but let's just say I wanted to study like um let, let, let's say let's say I wanted to study like uh uh let's see like Orhan Pamuk because I like Orhan Pamuk. So uh, how do you jump to that page? Whoops. Wait, oh my gosh, the zoom controls are I actually use the zoom control. Okay. Uh how do you jump to this? Oh, you control click. Okay. So like then I would so like uh let's say I want to study I saw I want to study Turkish literature. So I'm going off of the list of authors that I made. And then uh, I'm going with like uh, Orhan Pamuk. And then because he's the only Turkish Turkish author that I put in there. So then the site I use is quizdb.org. I I'm pretty sure it's the best site in all of QB because it just combines everything. And then uh I want to go through difficulty of let's see middle school through uh college regs. Generally, like honestly, I would say like if you want if you're just starting off, you can just go through, like one through five because like that contains all the stuff you need to know. Orhan Pamuk. So there's nine toss-ups on him in HS regs written, uh, not HS regs, in like the difficulty range that I put written. And then, um, so I go through it and then uh, I find all the novels that are basically uh, what he's important for. So uh, his most important novels are uh, Snow and My Name is Red, although there's a few others, which are a bit less important, like the Museum of Innocence, uh, White Castle, stuff like that. And then, uh, so I so I wrote down the name of each of the uh, like 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 each of the book I each of the books I wanted to study, and then and then I would just go onto Wikipedia and uh, read the plot summaries of every single book. Some books don't have plot summaries on Wikipedia. I would just read a plot summary on a different website. Uh, most webs like you can probably find plot summaries on most uh, like for most books until like you get to like the obscure stuff, and then after that I'd come back to QuizDB. And then I look through the clues because oftentimes in these clues, like you won't know exactly uh, where it comes from. Let's say like, actually, I, I still know what, what this first one is, but like this author created a character who saves 4,213 cigarette butts discarded by a woman that he loves. So before, like if I didn't read the plot summaries, I wouldn't know which novel that this clue belongs to. So even though technically like generally the, the author will be the main answer line that they ask for, like they probably won't ask for the actual novel. Like it's still good to know what novel it belongs to because like, Especially when, on bonuses, you really want to be able to associate clue with novel because they often won't give the they often won't give or ask for the author in the process. So on the Wikipedia page, it mentions that uh, in the Museum of Innocence, uh, the main character I already forgot his name. Oh my gosh, that's kind of sad. What's his name again? I, I forgot the name of the main character in the Museum of Innocence. But he sees up four thousand two hundred thirteen cigarette butts for um, uh, for his lover Afusan. And then uh, that's just one of the clues in there. So because, of, because I know that, I will just go into like the tab underneath uh, Museum of Innocence. And then I'll just write it down in the clue. Oh, his name's Kemal. And then I would just keep doing that and just come up and just like uh, find all the clues that come up like come up like decently common. And then uh, just take notes on them. Uh, since I, I Since I really like world literature, I decided to like try and like make my like to like go deeper in my studying. So like I took much more notes than I probably needed. In general, like you probably won't need like more than like, more than like, uh, what like five bullet points per thing per, per book, maybe like probably even less. Like honestly, like if like if I wanted to be an HS player for like, let's say like Jim Coetzee, like on HS regs, you probably only need like two bullet points for like each book. And like you probably need to power every single toss up. But like I wanted to power like college toss ups, so uh, I took much more notes since there's a much bigger jump. The other way you can do it is so taking notes works for people who like if you just write it down, then like you just remember it and you don't really need to, like review it. Because I, I honestly like I really review my notes because uh, the process of writing down like the notes just helps me remember everything I need to know. Uh, the notes are there just in case like I forget something and like I want to check back. But like, I don't have to constantly review them. If you want to constantly review them, uh, you want to use like a flashcard app. And people use different ones, but the general consensus is there's an app called Anki that's the best one. Uh, the interface is kind of complicated to use, but, and the website's kind of, it looks kind of old, but it's honestly like, 
a very, very strong flashcarding app because it like it uses machine learning to figure out like how to like uh, place your cards and how to um, figure out like uh, how to paste them. And it's not just random reviewing, like they will like record your reaction and your reaction to each card and then then they will put it back in the deck and they will sh and the cards will show up based off of like how you answered that card in the last time. The app itself is oh, updated later. The app itself is kind of complicated. Uh, well, not really. It, it, it can be complicated if you want to go like uh, you want to use like a bunch of add-ons and stuff. I use a bunch of add-ons for fun. Uh, I mean, I have not used this app in so long and see like my schedule is not very good because I realized that like Anki didn't really help me as much because it was kind of wasting my time since I would always remember, I could always remember the clues. It's more of just, uh, it's more of just the process of like writing down the clues that helped me learn more. But uh, so you can either just go with like matching clue, like you can just match clue to book or clue to author. So like, let's say like my literature notes, I have not updated this in so long, but like who wrote, wait, Annie John, let's say who wrote Annie John, Jamaica Kincaid, or uh, who wrote Measure for Measure. And like this, like this is, this is just matching book to author, but you can also do, um, how do I move this zoom? How do I hide this? Okay, finally it's hidden now, okay. Uh, let's say, uh, I wanna, these are not the literature notes I, I was looking for. Uh, okay, uh, hey, let's say like, I wanna go for like, uh, let's say like other fine arts, cause that's one thing I was studying a lot of. Uh, and uh, let's say I wanted to do something like, uh, what's something good I had? Dance. So join the ballet ruses at 10 years of age was considered the premier male ballet dancer of the early 1900s. And then, then I'd be like, who's this? And then I'd be like, oh wait, I actually don't know what this is. Oh, it's Vaslav Nijinsky. I probably should have known that. And then known as the mother of modern dance. So then basically you can just like, you can just uh, make, so you can just make flashcards if you want to like continuously reviewing stuff. But honestly, like making flashcards, making those is like the most intense version of studying. There's always much easier ways of studying if you want to just go for like a more casual, like go with the flow form of studying. Although I'm making flashcards and taking notes will probably like help you improve the fastest and will probably like be the most efficient for like continuously remembering like everything you've learned. You know, like, especially if you want to go into college quiz bowl, you kind of have to do this because it's very, very useful for like the college canon. But you can always just like, like I said before, like go with the flow, go, go with the flow. Just proto, proto bowling continuously is like really nice. And then, uh, and you can just, uh, the other thing I want to talk about was the PK bot. Uh, if you go into the Discord, uh, there's a link to the West Quiz Bowl server that I've sent before. I can send it again if you guys need it. But there's like, uh, PKs is basically where you, uh, there's a bot that just gives you bonuses over and over. And uh, you can just uh, like answer those bonuses and like it's like really good practice. So like uh, this isn't the West Quiz Bowl server. I sent a link before if you don't have it or you're not in there, I can give it to you again. Uh, let's say I want to PK like religion three. Afrocentric like problem uses cannabis. And then so you just, you just keep doing this over and over. Rastafarianism, uh, Haley Selassie, and like let's say like you, yeah, let's say like you don't know something, like uh, you can just like you can just keep uh doing it over and over until you, you know it yourself. I think this kind of it kind of feels like someone else is making flashcards for you, but you can uh, once like get used to like the PKs, you can get used to like the canon, you can get used to like uh just like the kind of clues they'll be using. And then after a while, like, even though these are bonuses, they'll help with their toss-ups also, because, like, you'll learn lots of, like, facts that will come up in toss-ups later. And there's lots and lots of bonuses. Like, this is the entire, this is, like, half of the entire, half of all the QB questions ever written. And then you can, like, and, and then, how do you, how do you, oh. And then you can, like, you can go, like, for even higher difficulties in the future. Just, like, the more comfortable you feel. Uh, 
lots of good players choose chose not to carve and not to uh, uh, take notes, and they just choose to use like PKing instead. Lastly, a lot of key players they just do something called packet study. This is what uh, I used. To, like I tried doing this. It didn't really work well for me, but I know I know it works well for like, a lot of people. So you go on the quizzlepackets.com, which is basically the repository for all the Quizzle packets. And then let's say you go to like uh, Callisto, for example, find like a good QV set. If you don't know what the good sets are, you can just ask me. Uh, but this is a good set because I wrote for it, you know, got to flex that part. Uh, and then you can just go through a whole packet. Let's say like you want to, so you can just go through everything, just learn everything that you don't know. So uh, try packet one, like glucose. Okay. I'll be like, oh, I'm not a side player, but I want to learn some side. I'm like, what's glucose? And you can just go back here. So you can just be like, oh, where would I buzz? So let's say like uh, from basic bio knowledge, I would buzz at uh, this line. Plants can con convert this compound to structural polymer that humans can't digest. Cellulose. So let's say like, what if I want to like buzz this earlier? So then you look at the clue before. So I'm like, okay, I have no idea what this clue means. But then like you can just like Google it. Like uh, you can like you can, you can like look up this clue like online and like learn what it means. And they say like it'll help you like remember that, or like you can even like take notes and like write it down so you remember it in the in the future, and you can just keep doing this over and over for like each toss up. This is more for a generalist practice style, and honestly, I'm not really into studying this way, but I know it works for a lot of people. I'm probably missing some other stuff. Oh yeah, back to my Anki conversation. Uh, yeah, I forgot. You you don't have to just do um like author to uh. Like, like just clue to answer line association. You can also do like something called close, which let's take like my philosophy cards, for example. I haven't updated this in such a long time, but like this way you can figure out like multiple things in the same thing. Like uh, you can you can look up online on a guide on how to make close cards, which are what these cards are called. I can send you like the guide in the, if you want it, just DM me. And it's like this work by this thinker claims that some people are naturally supposed to be slaves. Okay, so this should be the phenomenology of spirit by uh, Hegel. Oh, yeah, I should review my cards. Okay, anyways, let's uh, ignore the fact that I don't know my own cards, but basically, yeah, like if you want to, like you can use this to make it more than just uh, like singular uh, association. Okay, Rohan's here. Except Rohan came at the very, very end. And uh, I basically have nothing else to share. I'm trying to think if I'm missing nobody anything. What? Did nobody else show up? Uh, Rahul asked for me to send him like a clip, like like asked me to send him the recording. Okay. And uh, wait, Rohan, what am I missing? I mentioned, I mentioned no taking carding, quiz db, quizzlepackets.com. PK bot, uh, oh, PK bot, or you can pick it with other people. Each yeah, other's works. Uh, just generally, um, whatever you're interested in, learning more about it, uh, either through like Wikipedia or by reading questions or by writing questions. Oh, writing questions. I forgot about that part. Yeah, yeah writing questions is very helpful. Mm -hmm. um, like, uh, even if they're like not good, and like you can just write them on your own time in a document. If you find something interesting, mm -hmm. like if you want to just write a question about it, you can do that. And that usually helps because oftentimes to write a question, uh, you need to either, you like to check what's on the database already, or you might want to pick some new clues. And so like when you're writing for yourself, you don't have any length constraints or anything. So you can write like 12 line toss ups about one book that you read if you want. Yeah. I don't know. It's usually, um, usually um, it's, like reading, reading a ton of questions that helps the most with studying, but writing is definitely helpful. Yeah, I think I basically touched on like everything. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm kind of stuck in a position where I can't really uh, access my Zoom. Because I'm not really And um... All right, I'm gonna move. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Guys, um, don't worry about this. But uh, 
Zoom is acting all weird and I can't seem to turn off this video. I, I can't really find my... What? Oh, don't worry about that part. Oh. Wait, actually though, like this is so freaking troll. I can't like, I can't, I actually can't access my Zoom. Like, how do I, how do I? Okay. Stop share. 